flatten the tur curve and we did our job. So now they need to do their job and get this economy going again. Yeah, I think it's it's up to us to make those decisions about what's best for, for my profession and for my clientele. There's some frustration out there tonight, even as southwestern Pennsylvania starts to get back to business. All but one of our local counties in southwestern Pennsylvania will begin reopening next Friday. And businesses in Mercer and Lawrence County started opening their doors today. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Johnson. And I'm Lisa Sylvester. While some counties are moving from red to yellow, there is still a lot of gray. Questions need to be answered, especially for businesses not included in the yellow phase. And that's why we're bringing you Team 11 coverage at 6 from across our area to help explain what this all means for you. And we start with Channel 11's Rick Earl live on the breaking news desk in our newsroom. And Rick, take us behind the scenes of the governor's decision making. Yeah, David, the governor looked at a number of factors, including the declining number of COVID-19 cases right here in this region, coupled with a network of hospitals that haven't been inundated or overwhelmed with patients. And all of that led to today's announcement with some words of caution. Residents should be mindful that yellow still means caution. Every contact between two people is a new link in the chain of potential transmission. A stern warning today from Governor Tom Wolf as he announced 13 more counties, including Allegheny, Westmoreland, Washington, and Butler, will be allowed to reopen next Friday. But the governor also reserving the right to shut them down again. If the new case count begins to climb in one area, restrictions will need to be imposed to prevent local medical facilities from becoming overwhelmed. The 13 counties in southwestern Pennsylvania will join 24 counties in northwest and north central PA that reopen today. Under the yellow face, most retail businesses will be allowed to reopen with social distancing guidelines. And the governor saying today he has no plans to reopen barbershops or hair salons, even though they are open in neighboring West Virginia and will reopen in Ohio next week. No, we're not looking at, at that plan. And again, I, I, I understand the frustration. I share that frustration. Uh, it, this virus is, is, is a frustrating virus. It's sneaky uh, and it's, it's deadly and it's very contagious. Beaver County was left off the list, likely because of a high number of nursing home cases. But officials there suggested businesses may reopen anyway. The governor urged them not to and said he understands their frustration. And the frustration has to be directed at the, the real enemy here. It's the virus. It's not the regulation. Now, the governor also said Pennsylvanians have done a great job so far abiding by the stay at home order. And he says that one move helped to stop the spread of the virus. He says he's already looking now at the next round of counties to reopen. That is the very latest reporting live at the breaking news desk tonight. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.